Ha! I get something off my list. One thing done. Woohoo! Wait, what? Ah, crap. What's up, guys? Welcome back to an episode of Warp Jester Does Server Play. This is going to be episode 6 of my server play series. Uh, I've actually uh, had a little bit of a gap in getting these recorded. Um, kind of one of the reasons why I had the, <laughs> the test server episode with Yankee is because we've been dealing with uh, uh, server lag issues on the server host we were with. And uh, we did a lot of, whole lot of work on trying to resolve it and just couldn't couldn't get it fixed to that server host. We ended up going to another server host. We just got the uh, server back up on it. So, oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, so we've been going through that. Um, while we've been doing that, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera here. I'll give you a quick uh, run through. First things first, uh, Christmas is over, so the tree is gone, the candy canes are gone. Um, just getting things cleaned up around here. Had a really good New Year's, got a lot of really cool gifts, um, uh, really enjoyed it, great, uh, really, really had a good time with the family, so that was nice. Um, oh, yeah, shake off the groggies here, woo! Alright, so anyways, guys, uh, quick, uh, quick run through, try to show what we've been doing, um, you can see we've got street lamps now. This is courtesy of VSD. She actually, uh, set up the street lights here. She actually has these, uh, Carpenter's daylight sensors on the top. Same thing as the vanilla daylight sensor, but you can skin it however you want to skin it. So she's chosen, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing some kind of maybe aluminum or, uh, some metal block. You can see here. Looks really nice. Uh, she did have them, like, one every five blocks. It was just way overkill, which I love VSD. It's one of the Actually, one of the most endearing traits about her is when she does something, she goes to the hilt. <laughs> you walk down the street, you just see a wall of lights. It was kind of kind of humorous. Um, yeah, so we got the, those lights put in. Uh, I'm going to turn my pack up here. Um, I've been doing a lot of just general cleanup and, and sprucing up, so to speak, fixing little, little bits here and there. Again, the server was really laggy, so I really didn't want to uh, do a lot of big projects. So I just kind of stuck with... Uh, uh, doing the little things. Um, I did do a couple of little things here. First things first, uh, yeah, our, our bad side of town has gotten a little worse here, so we've got our little, uh, <laughs> our hobo here. <laughs> uh, there's a little shopping cart. <laughs> uh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, I know, times are tough. I know. I, I hear you. I feel you. I, if I had a coin, I, I'd throw it at you, but, uh, yeah, what can I say? Get a job. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so we got a, little, a few things in here. Like, so we got the Christmas tree, got good old Hobo Joe over there. Um, Viesti got the street lights up. Very nice job. She's been. Uh, oh, she also did the streets right here. As you can see, we've, we've redone the streets. The streets we had before were just a temporary uh, solution, um, just to kind of lay out where the streets would be, kind of thing. So she's got she's gone back through. Uh, these uh, stones right here are huge cobblestones. These are from the chiseled mod. This is actually this regular cobblestone that you chisel into this look. I love them. They look really, really nice. And then this stuff here is a rough brown stone, which is from the uh, Tinker's Construct. And you can see right here, I'm just running normally. I'm going super fast. If I go sprint, I go pretty darn fast. If I try to hop through it, it's kind of insane. <laughs> uh, City Hall-wise, I've gotten a few things done here. As is on the intro. I managed to strike off one thing, but I've added uh, not only a couple more things, but I've added a whole new wall here. <laughs> it kind of figures. Um, I've got uh, uh, some terraforming projects. This is just a couple of them off the top of my head. There's actually a lot of terraforming I want to do. And I love terraforming. It's, it's really neat to clean things up, but yeah, the side effect is it tends to get to be a, a bit long in the tooth in terms of, of how long it takes to do stuff. So, um, yeah, so there's a lot more to do here. Also, uh, as I mentioned uh, in my prior video, Rurik has decided to move out to uh, a new location out that way. I'll be uh, showing you guys in a few minutes here. Uh, but one of the things he's requested is he wants us to deliver power to him. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up uh, logistics uh, to get power to him via rail line. 
Uh, I'll, actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to be pulling EU power from the power plant here via the uh, uh, like MFSU carts uh, through Railcraft. And then we're going to uh, run the rails out to his location. Actually, I'm going to fly over to the uh, rail yard here and show you what's up. Uh, we've got, uh, again, this is just outside of the industrial area. You can see there's the... Uh, slowly loading in, but there's the uh, data center. We're actually going to be working on that today, just so you know. Um, but we've got the uh, rail yard here, and we're going to be uh, running things in here. This is a temporary building that uh, uh, RG put up. We're going to be moving that actually to a new location. Another project, but not mine, so I'm happy. <laughs> so anyways, here's the rail line that's going to be coming in. Got a little bit of bridge here. I'm actually going to be terraforming this whole area right here. Uh, the river is kind of weird and it kind of wraps around and digs through here. I actually want to run it around the side of this uh, biome and then connect it back up over here. So that's going to be some major work. Uh, rail line wise, uh, this is an interesting run because I'm used to just kind of running very straight north, south, east, west kind of lines. So Doing this diagonal thing is a new thing for me. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. Uh, but anyways, to run the layer line down, this is a good I think about 800 blocks out to Rurik's place. Um, so we had to do a little bit of finale and working here. As you can see here, run the rail line out. We actually go through the uh, uh, a desert environment. And then we hit our first real bridge we're going to be working on. This bridge right here is going to be a nice elaborate bridge some sort. I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do just yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, there's my wonderful pretty clock going off. Um, and then we, I'm wrapping the uh, rail line around the side of this crag hill. I love this because if you get back a little bit here and head back towards the power plant, you can see it loading in back there. Get a good look at this. There you go. See, I love this. This is exactly what I was shooting for. So I've got this wonderful rail line that's kind of half dug in and half backfill to run these rail lines across. And then we're going to come across here. It's going to be a second bridge right here. What I'm actually going to do, I'm thinking about doing this because of the way this thing is shaped. I'm actually thinking about uh, putting a lake, a small body of water, right up here on top. And then have it pouring down the side here. And they'll kind of go under this uh, little bridge and it'll come out into this bay right here. And this bay is now one of those uh, terraform projects I have up on my list. So it's going to be a lot of work to get this kind of cleaned up and cleaned out, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so the rail line's going to run around the side of the Crag Hills here. I love it. It like, digs between the little mountains right here. And then we get into this wonderful little uh, tunnel. And this is what makes me happy. Is this tunnel, I have some ideas. Um, I'm thinking about doing, actually, is opening up a little bit, maybe with some TNT to get kind of random. And then I'm actually going to make a, a real-looking cave with uh, like stalactites and stalagmites uh, using the uh, micro... Uh, micro block mod. So that's going to be fun. The best part is, is you just come along here. Woo! Uh oh! Oh no! I have no food! Uh oh! Um. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> uh oh! Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, I need to get some food. I'll be back. Whew! Crisis averted. Got some, some cooked fish here. Oh, man. It's a good thing I've got extra life. Actually, you've noticed I've got uh, my little orange hearts down there. That's actually from the uh, Tinker's Construct mod. I got around to making some of those heart-shaped casters. Uh, these will stack up to 10 and uh, give you basically uh, 10 additional uh, full hearts of life. So <laughs> gave me enough time to actually be able to get back and grab food. Oh, I have to do this all the time. I believe uh, it's a uh, Greg Tech that actually modifies your hunger, so you actually lose more hunger more quickly, and uh, it can be a challenge. Anyways, one, part, one thing I wanted to show you about this rail line here, guys, is this right here. This wonderful little bridge comes out, and then look around you. Oh, it is just gorgeous. So yeah, this is another bridge. This is going to be a third bridge I get to design. I, I, I've been having real fun just kind of dreaming up ideas for bridges. You saw the, um, the one I did for Forestry Town. That was a lot of fun. Um, this one here, I, I've kind of, I have an idea what I want to do for is I want to make a very, like, rickety, uh, broken down wooden bridge. Look like it's just about ready to fall apart. Uh, and uh, kind of have that spanning this chasm here. I haven't, I haven't really figured out the exact design yet, but I know I want to make it kind of a, a questionable rickety uh, bridge. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be kind of fun. So you pop out up here, we actually pop out, this is actually just beautiful, it pops out right into a, uh, a snowy cave in the Alps, 
This is a uh, Alps biome right next to the crags. So it's going to come out here. And I have it stopped right here for now. Hey, how you doing? Want to shake hands? How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like skeletons, especially the Gatlin skeletons. Oh, oh, heck no. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got way too many legs. I do not like you. Oh, I do not like you. You I don't care about. You are not bomb. Oh, chimney. Oh, mother. What the? Seriously? Yeah. Where is he at? Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Man, you just can't get a moment's peace around here. Jesus, Juniper. You know what? That's fine. You guys can do your thing. I, mm, really? Yeah, see? That's what happens when you hit somebody with thorns. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> they can just stay there. So I've run real light out to here so far. Uh, the reason for that is Rurik is actually taking up residence in this uh, Kenyan biome. Uh, so this is going to be his new uh, new stage or place of operations. And again, we're going to be running uh, supply power to him. So we're going to get those MFSU carts, power, uh, fill them up at the uh, power plant, and then we're going to run them out to wherever he wants out here. And I'm sure he'll probably have some kind of uh, battery storage, whatever, and... Um, Likely, what we'll end up doing is uh, just doing a power converter out here, since we have the power uh, power converter mod. Um, I like this area. This actually was an area I wanted to originally put our uh, our starter village into, because it's a beautiful little canyon right around here. You kind of sit inside of, um, but we had already MC edited uh, our uh, village in after the uh, the first beta reboot. And we didn't really want to move it again, so <laughs> and I'm saying, okay. So I'm really glad that Rook found this place because it is awesome. And from what I understand, he actually found a uh, uh, an end or a, uh, a stronghold somewhere down here. Uh, I'm not going to go poking around for him to show off, not me. Um, but yeah, so we've got an end stronghold here. And those have an end stronghold uh, out west, uh, just kind of out a little bit south of where the forestry town is. We got a couple of them. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was this really cool was the this right here. We actually have uh, uh, oh I forget what the name this is. It's a barley field or something like that. Let's see here. Uh, pasture. Yes, this is a pasture. It's got all this uh, barley just flowing everywhere, which is really neat. Um, the one issue I have with it, from my experience, is it doesn't. Uh, uh, there's not a real guarantee you're going to get the seeds for it. Uh, so you break this, it kind of assume that it, it's pretty much kind of a gone thing, which kind of sucks. Um, but I, I can see doing a really, really cool, like, farm or something in this kind of a biome. Uh, if, if Rurik hadn't taken up residency there, I might have, uh, put a farm biome out here, or a farm uh, city out here. That'd be kind of neat. So, yeah, so that's, uh... That's pretty much uh, the big thing going on right now. This is kind of a high priority. I've got to get the logistics figured out to get power over to him, at least on my end, how he wants to do it on his end. I'm not really sure. So when I get a chance, hopefully tonight, I'll talk with him and see what he wants to do. Uh, let me go ahead, and I'm going to head back on over to uh, uh, Newtown, and uh, we'll get started on the, that data center. I'll be right back. Yeah, guys, welcome back. So here we are back at the data center. Again, I want to do a little work on this today. Uh, I want to keep things moving forward. Uh, I'm still... <laughs> I don't know. I, I've got to revisit this design. I mean, I'm not going to take the whole thing down. It was a pain in the backside to get done in the first place. So I'm not not hip on that. But i got to do something to make it a little nicer. It's just not really working for me. Uh, so a couple things we need to get done here. I need to finish running the AE line out to... Uh, this location here. I've got the tunnel dug, and I already have an AE line running all the way from the workshop where the AE system currently is to the um, uh, power plant so it can deliver fuel in the form of uh, coal. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and tap into that line and run it out uh, and kind of continue it on here. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing is uh, getting, kind of figuring out how to make the, uh, the AE system look in this data center. I want to make it look very data center and I already have an idea of what I'm going to do. Whoa! Um, I've actually done this once before on an old server. I think I'm going to go ahead and recreate that. Ooh, that could have been bad news. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, so let me get this uh, let me get this line run over real quick 
and stop having problems. And then we'll uh, go ahead and link back up and we'll work on the actual design of the uh, data center. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and I'm just finishing up here. Uh, got the A line run up to where I want it to come in. I well, about where I want it to come in. I'm not exactly sure where exactly I want to put it in here. So again, uh, I'm going to be using uh, this side here as our kind of data center, and then the other side is going to be our Big Macs. And uh, if you don't know what Big Mac is, it's basically a um, Oh, I forget the exact name of it is now. Basically, it's the AE system that you can teach it to build things. So basically, anything you can build in a crafting bench, for the most part, uh, you can have the Big Mac build for you. So I'm going to do uh, multiple small Big Macs uh, for the different uh, mods. I could do one big giant one. I don't know of any real limitation to the size, per se. Um, but I like the idea of doing individual Big Macs. So it looks like big uh, mainframes, basically. Um, so that's going to be digging towards. Um, for the design in here, like I was saying before, I, I'm actually I have an idea of what I want to do for design aspects, and uh, uh, let me go ahead and grab some some doit. Here we go. Ah, dirt, the great building block. So I, I really want to make this look very data center-ish. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is running rows of. Uh, uh, server racks basically and I'll probably end up doing something like this we'll have two rows like this run it down and I usually do like a double stack of uh, of those uh, AE storage uh, uh, storage arrays those are my my data center uh, basically data center racks and I do uh, I like doing them too high it makes them look a little better uh, just like that and I'll get this one down here. Oh man, I can't place dirt for saving my life. <laughs> uh, and then get this on here. What I end up doing is I uh, I go ahead and run the AE cable uh, above down here, and then drop the cables in to connect all the different servers. Uh, so well, I'll probably end up having having to do. I'll have this uh, cable come up somewhere under here. And then, let's see, I have those guys there. So I'll probably end up having cable run down like this. Doop, doop, doop. Just like this. I like this. Oh, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but that'll be fine. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and then connect them. You see, it'll, it'll drop down and it'll connect into the different uh, bays here. Um, just to give it a touch of class, <laughs> make it look kind of cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use uh, these uh, iron strips. I'm actually going to make a little um, uh, cable ladder for them. Uh, if you work in the uh, IT industry, you'll you'll quickly <laughs> quickly figure out what I'm uh, doing here. Um, I really like the look of having basically uh, data racks, and uh, hmm, I'm trying to think how the best is going to look. Um, basically, having a little uh, uh, Basically, it's a metal scab. It looks like a ladder, if you will, that just all the wires lay on. So when you go through and uh, have the wires coming out, you'll have the uh, metal structure holding the wires up so it keeps it nice and clean. And I don't know if I want to do the cable that low. I actually might want to pull the cable up a little bit. Let's try that out real quick. So we'll do that. Talk about that. One more time. There we go. Now for the... Iron bars. Oh boy, how to go about this? The so one problem with dealing with a micro block is it just ain't that easy. You know, I love I love the stuff, but it can be a, a pain in the you know what. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then oh boy. Um, now the way AE works, you don't technically have to have cables running all the way down because since they all well, actually, they're not all going to touch each other. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do... Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good point. They're not going to touch each other. Uh, shoot. I need to rethink this for a minute. I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. Let me get this, uh, this laid out right here, and I'll show you what I've done. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I'm just finishing up uh, my uh, wiring scaffolding, or whatever you want to call it. I never know what the 
technical term is for it. Uh, you know, of course, as soon as I go to record, I have to sneeze. Oh, good heavens. Woo, okay. Lost a little gray matter there. Woo. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so as you see, I just put up uh, this uh, dirt scaffold. And uh, put this up here. Actually, I don't want to do it on this side. Put it up there for now. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so like I said, if you look at a data center, they have uh, basically a metal structure that holds all the wire up. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. Get this out of here. So you have your server racks down here, and then you've got uh, your wire run across the top. So when we run the wire out from wherever, the wire is actually going to run right across the top here. And the way I've done the uh, microblock, since AE doesn't work with microblock, is I have the holes just big enough for the AE wires to slip through like this. And they'll come down, they'll connect to each uh, data center rack. Just like that. So there you go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get uh, this duplicated uh, a few times over uh, all the way down in here. Uh, and then I'll start uh, working with getting the, uh, the actual server racks built and put in place. It's going to take a lot of time to build those. I really don't want to bore you with that. So I'll go ahead and take care of that. And I'll pop back in with you one time just to real quick to show you the, uh, the fish results. Uh, I don't want to do much more than that because uh, we're running kind of long in our episode here. So... Yeah, so I'll be right back to show you the uh, the uh, finished finished results, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it uh, see how it looks. All right, be right back. Ta-da! Here we go, guys. So check it out. Go higher view here. Uh, so here's the data center, all finished up. Uh, I did uh, obviously. Get everything put in. I was talking about. It. I also did a little bit extra work. Um, as a matter of fact, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of the game came online, so I was doing some other stuff as well. But I wanted to show this off real quick to you. So as I said before, I have the uh, the trellis, or whatever you want to call it, to hold the cables up. Uh, again, I tend to do aesthetic stuff to kind of mimic real world. So those come down, and then we've got the uh, AE lines that drop in to each of the server racks. Each of the server racks are individual columns here with two of these ME drives in them. So we've got two ME drives per uh, per rack, and then we've got uh, something like, oh boy, I want to say 63 uh, towers. So yeah, lots of them here. <laughs> um, as you can see, of course, I don't have, uh, I haven't made drives for every one of them yet. Um, but my intention is to go ahead and fill most of these up with uh, the 1K drives, which I have all along here. Um, if you haven't played with AE, just so you can get a feel for it, these systems are really cool because these hold 10 drives per, uh, or 10 uh, discs per drive, as you can see here. You can set the priority of the drives. I'll explain that another time for you in details. But you can get a quick glimpse of what's going on. Each individual drive has a light on it. Green means hunky-dory, lots of room. Uh, orange means getting full. Red means maxed out. Um, there's even information you can glean from the back of these drives here in terms of how much space there is and uh, in capacity and so on. Um, again, I actually might do a, a little more in-depth uh, 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 video about that. As a matter of fact, uh, if you are interested, um, there are a lot of good videos out there for AE, but I wouldn't mind getting into maybe doing uh, either mod reviews or mod tutorials. So if you are interested, uh, please let me know. Uh, and I'll be happy to do them. But I was saying, I went ahead and did the racks here, got the uh, cabling up, and uh, what I did for the, the look of the rack itself is I actually have uh, a block of, or a cover plate of dark iron around it to give it kind of that look. And uh, I, just, I think overall it looks really, really nice here. So I got all this put in, and what I also did just to make things a little easier is over here on this little short rack, I'm putting in specialty drives. And these are higher capacity drives. Uh, there's a couple of 4K drives down below here. Uh, you can see right here, and I have some 64K drives on top. And uh, what I did is actually format these. You'll notice on the uh, tag there at the end of the top line it says dirt. Uh, this one says cobble and so on. These are formatted drives. They will only take specific items that I've programmed the drive to take. So, again, it gives you an idea what you can do with the system. So, that system in a whole, I actually went through and uh, did a defrag on our system with. By that, what I mean is, once I got those drives programmed to carry certain things, I actually went drive by drive, put all these drives out, came over here to our MEIO 
and basically drop the drives in, had to basically offload all the items into the AE system, and then put the drives back in place. And what it does is it gets the items pulled out and gives them a chance to get basically restored onto new drives in a little more orderly fashion. The Think in terms of if you've got two drives here with you know some dirt each, I'm pulling those both out, dumping it back in the system, and then drives that are dedicated to dirt will get those those dirt items, basically. <sighs> Anyways, so that's the uh, the uh, data center. So that's done. I still need to put some security doors up. Um, I haven't really figured out exactly how I want to do that just yet. Um, in the future, we're going to be working on getting some Big Macs put in here. I'm going to see if I can't uh, drag Turgo on with me to do that project. Turgo's been my right-hand man in the past, especially for things like the Big Mac builds and whatnot. Um, he's been so buried <laughs> in being a server admin for us um, and being a, a first-time dad now. Um, so he's been quite busy, uh, but definitely uh, want to get a chance to get him on. He's an absolute kick-ass character. I love him to death. He's he is a wonderful, wonderful friend. Um, so definitely learn that. Uh, Coming up in future episodes here, I'm going to be working a little more on the rail line for Rourke. Again, we got the uh, track I showed you earlier uh, run all the way down here, but now I need to get that tied into a power system. I haven't decided if I want to run the track over to the power station directly or have a substation that they can come into. Um, I'll think about it a little more, figure out what I'm going to do, and uh, kind of get that lined out. Uh, I also did a, uh, a loop around the world with VSD today. She has uh, uh, taken up the task of looking for a place to call home for a magic town. So we've got the forest town out there that I need to do some work on. We've got uh, the uh, ore processing town that uh, Ruark, I call Ruark Land, um, is taking on. Uh, Yankee is going to be taking on a bee town. So we've got to find a place for bees. And then we've got the magic town. And Viestis has some really good ideas for uh, styling, among other things. So lots of cool things to come. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I will be... Uh, now we've got our new server here, which, by the way, is just... Oh, oh, oh my goodness, it's so nice. I know I've said it before, but i got to say it again. Oh, oh, oh my God, so nice. <laughs> so much better. Um, anyways, as always, I appreciate your time spending with me, and uh, uh, I really do appreciate getting input. As I said, if you have uh, thoughts, questions, curiosities about the AE system, um, I'm not really sure if I am <laughs> want to get into or, or be good enough to do... Uh, mod reviews or mod tutorials but if you are interested please go ahead and leave comments down below and uh, give me your input and thoughts uh, also if you have any questions general input etc please feel free to leave that as well i certainly do welcome uh, any comments uh, constructive uh, preferably constructive <laughs> or otherwise uh, and also as i say uh, please do uh, mash the like button if you enjoyed this it really does help me out it gives me a little promotion i would like to see uh you know my my uh, viewership grow uh, it's always kind of a fun thing. It's that whole have an opportunity to see more people have more dialogue. It's always a fun thing for me. And as always, if you appreciate or enjoy my server play series or my how-tos or my quick tips or future other things, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, you can follow along with what I do. Uh, likewise, uh, we do have other guys that are coming online here. We've got uh, Rurark88 uh, who has joined us for the modified server play series. He does, however, do a lot of other gameplay videos. He has as a uh, uh, vanilla Minecraft uh, he does with Cranky Craft. Um, he also has a single player 1.7 beta Minecraft. This is the not current Minecraft, but the pre release Minecraft back in the days when gravel looked different and bows sound different and sheep could push you off the ledges and kill you. <laughs> it's a real hoot. If you're, if you're one of the old schoolers that has played Minecraft in the past, I definitely recommend you pick that up. Uh, it's a, a real, real fun uh, uh, series to watch, so definitely pick him up. Uh, likewise, uh, like I said, uh, Yankee has started up a single-player LP using the Ball Rocket Gaming M80 mod pack, and that is a real fun uh, one to catch uh, simply because uh, you guys kind of joined me late for the server play series in terms of we already had the server kind of established. We've got an AE system that's just packed with all kinds of goodies, which, uh, by the way, uh, VSD programmed our AE system to make uh, this nano uh, nano armor jetpack combo thingy. So now I'm super hoopty and I can fly and I've got armor. Yay! Thank you, VSD! Uh, <laughs> um... 
But definitely check out uh, uh, Yankee. Like I said, it's real fun to watch. You get to see how you survive in our modified uh, mod pack right from the very beginning. He's drinking a lot of good headway on getting a house and a place to live and whatnot. So definitely pick up his uh, channel. I'll put the uh, link down below, and you can uh, check him out. Uh, also, just a little uh, heads up here. Uh, good news. We do have another YouTuber who is going to be joining us Uh not too soon. He's got other things to deal with first, but uh, he has said he would like to join us. So, uh, yay! More people. I love it. I love it. Um, it, it, it. It makes me absolutely sore. You know, me and Turgo and, and everybody here who's uh, worked to help us, support us, and so on to get this server up and running. It's it's been a long trial, and especially even even just as recently with the server issues and getting rolled over, um, we have worked very hard. And I'll be honest with you, uh, I, I want to take a moment here and, and, and say a really, really stinking big thank you, obviously, to everybody. Uh, even even the founders are very passive. They're kind of there to support us, either monetarily or, or, or emotionally or whatever you want to say. Um, I, I appreciate guys. You guys are awesome. You're best friends. Um, I love hanging with you guys, talking to you guys, and so on. Um, I also want to say a, a, a super extra, extra big thank you to Turgo. Um, dude, you seriously kick ass. You, I mean, you're busy. You're a first time dad. You've got so much going on in your world, and yet you still manage to have time to, to be our server admin and, and get, you know, this thing working. And that's awesome. That's epic. And so, dude, seriously, I thank you so much. Guys, uh, Turgo's a cool guy. I'm definitely going to have him on sooner than later so you can meet him and, and see his stuff. Um, I'm really hoping that he'll, as time goes by, have enough time so he can actually start doing uh, some YouTube videos of his, of his own. Uh, so look forward to that when he has the ability to. So, again, yeah, my friend, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching today. Uh, as always, as I said, uh, you know, watch, like, subscribe, have all the goodness. Also, if you want to get to know the rest of us, feel, feel free to head on over to the BottleRocketGaming.com website. That is our website for our clan. Uh, I said this once and I'll say it again. We are a whitelist server. However, this is a server built for YouTubers. So if you have a YouTube channel, if you're an up-and-coming YouTuber and you're looking for a modified uh, mod pack to work with, feel free to stop on by BottleRocketGaming.com slash forms. Uh, you can meet and greet, talk to us. Uh, if you like, you can jump into the TeamSpeak channel with us and uh, do a meet and greet. We're always happy to talk with you. And we'd love to have you on. Uh, we really are looking for uh, more people to enjoy this environment with. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on, as you've heard about. So by all means, come on by and say howdy, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. <laughs> all right, guys. Again, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff ramping up here now. We've got the time and the server for it, so look forward to that. And like I said, I've had a lot of this stuff coming down the pipe as well. So, <sighs> Whew. long episode. I apologize. But nonetheless, thank you very much. Have yourself a good one, and take it easy. <laughs>